We're back at Disney California Adventure Park to check out the new Baymax foods that have arrived. We're also going to be checking out some new merchandise that hit the parks, as well as checking out any new updates that are here. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you guys do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed, and tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. So let's get started. One park update brings us over here to the Disney 100 medallion here on Buena Vista Street. Now, I'm sure some of you guys already know, but there's actually these little interactive things around the parks that you can actually twirl your magic band with. Unfortunately, we don't have ours here with us, but this would be one that you can interact with if you have a magic band. All right, we're making our way inside of Elias & Co to see if there is any new merchandise that has made its way over here. So we found a new lounge fly inside of Elias & Co. It looks like it is the Muppets. Kind of cute. I do like the little tassels on the side. It's quite unique. I don't know about the mouth on the front, <laughs> but this will run you $88. The next piece of merchandise, it looks like we have some aristocrats. Yeah. I don't really know much about them, but um, it does look pretty cool. Seems like it has like some sort of like sequence thing, and these will run you $39.99. It also looks like we have a few new magic bands. My favorite being the Huffalump right here. There's also it's like Steamboat Willie, which I think they've had in the past, but here are a few more to add to the collection. And just to clarify, I think each band is $64.99. I don't know if it's for all of them but uh, it does show $64.99 here. And for $34.99, we have a new plushie that has arrived, which looks like this. Babe, what are those? Um, those are the rescuers. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you got those here too. And for $29.99, we have a Symphony Mickey, which Nicole I'm really likes this much. one. Um, and it's pretty unique. I like it. I feel like it's a little basic for $29.99, but it is really neat and I could definitely see her with it. As far as like the material goes, it is a really nice like slick cotton. So this might be something we pick up. And it also looks like right in the entrance of Five and Dime and Elias and Co. They have a lot of the new Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, which let's do our good deed for today. Pick this guy up, put him back. But yeah, it looks like they have some really cool merchandise. And it looks like we also have quite a bit of Haunted Mansion stuff. That'd be cool, yeah. right? That'd be neat. And uh, this hat is really cool as well. There's a lot of unique things. The Crocs are really neat, but yeah, quite a bit of variety. And it also looks like there's a few new spirit jerseys as well. This one has Ursula on it. And on the front has the Disneyland D, which I do like like the tie-dye look or acid wash look to it. And then Nicole also pointed out that they do have the Nightmare Before Christmas spirit jerseys as well. This one's probably like my favorite one, to be honest with you. It has Sally and Jack on the front. Another thing I really like is this bag. I can actually see Nicole with this. It is really neat. And it's only $40, which is kind of cool. So maybe we'll pick that one up this year. Just finished up checking out some merchandise. There is a lot of cool things. Maybe in a future video, we'll go back in and try and do a little bit more in-depth things. Let us know, guys, what um, you're most excited for, the Haunted Mansion or the Night Before Christmas merch. But now what we're going to be doing is now we're heading our way to San Francisco. We're gonna try some new foods and also give you guys some park updates over there. So we made our way over here to Pacific Wharf. We're gonna give you guys a little update on the new area that's gonna be happening for San Francisco. It looks like the cast members are still working on getting these pillars up. The concept art has them as an orange. So there's still a little bit more that they have to do as well as some of the buildings inside still need a couple of renovations before it looks exactly like the concept art. But if you guys don't know, this is already blocked out. So if you do come over here, you cannot cross this bridge. So just keep that in mind if you are coming anytime soon, but we can't wait for these to be painted. Every time we're over here, we always have Raylani check out the little ducks, but I don't see any right now. It's right there by the rock, it's so hard to see. Oh yeah, right there. And keep in mind, access to Pacific Wharf, there will be some signs that you can take. So Nicole and I like going this way from like Cars Land, which is not too bad. Are they still doing the bakery tour yeah, right now? Yeah. So free bread, guys. Go in there, get some free bread. So we decided to do this to burn a little bit of time. Let's see here. Hello. I think we showed it before, but when you do come in here with a tour, you can actually see them making some of the bread bowls and other things that I'm assuming that they have throughout the park, but it was really cool. If you guys are in this area next to the Lucky Fortune Cookery, there are a lot of tables and stuff, but we also wanted to point out that there is a lot of construction happening. So 
keep that in mind. There might be a little bit more limited seating like normal, but um, we're just waiting for our time and we're gonna be eating here. Here is a closer look on the railings for the little bridge that is over here. Coming into San Francisco, I'm gonna come over here with all these fish. Kind of makes me nervous, <laughs> but um, it's looking good. Just can't wait for it to be painted like we were talking about and cleared up over here as well. So Reilani actually really enjoys eating the bread. Uh, so I guess that's a perk. If you have kids, it's a fun little thing to come do and they might be like her. We're currently waiting for our food. If you guys didn't know, the Lucky Fortune Cookery opens at 11 o'clock. So if you are gonna wanna try some of these Baymax foods, just kind of like take that into consideration just because you know if you're hungry or you wanna try these first thing in the morning, it might not be possible. So place your mobile orders, and if you guys haven't used the app, we highly recommend using the app because right before, about five minutes before, you could hit, I'm here, prepare my order, and you could just walk up and go pick it up. So keep that in mind. We're just gonna wait it out, and we'll see you guys once we have the food. Either I'm just really hungry, or this dry spot right here looks like an abstract hidden Mickey. We are finally here to enjoy our meal. So we have first up the beef birria ramen. Now you can find this at the Lucky Fortune Cookery, and I'm so, so excited. I've seen some really good reviews about this, so let's see how well it is. So this is a ramen noodle with beef uh, birria added to it, as well as some grilled corn, red radish, a hard boiled egg, and Monterey Jack cheese, onions, and cilantro. So, oh my gosh, my mouth's watery. Okay, what I'm most nervous about is that this consume is like really, really red and oily, so I pray that I don't get it on my shirt, but let's get a good bite in here. It's really hot. Okay. So overall, my thoughts on this are that it's very flavorful. It does have like a nice kick um, in the broth. The noodles are perfect. The beef is nice and tender. I would highly recommend this. I give this dish a five out of five. I feel like I could use one lime extra, maybe just to give it a little more tanginess and some tortilla chips might even be nice to give it a crunch factor, but this is absolutely delicious. Okay, I'm gonna be really careful because the shirt Nicole got for me, I don't want to get ruined, but oh boy. Okay, so that was absolutely delicious. Like Nicole said, the birria is really tender, very, very flavorful, but I can see where she comes with the extra lime. I think that would be an extra added flavor. Um, overall, I really do like this. I'm not a huge soup fan or like ramen person to begin with, but this is fantastic. And even Reilani <laughs> is enjoying the ramen, <laughs> if you can't tell. Uh, next up, we're gonna try the Baymax macaron. Sorry for the green man ban here, but let's see if we could talk over them and do the Baymax review. So this has the chocolate hazelnut spread as well as buttercream. <laughs> She's excited. <laughs> and the wind is also kicking. So let's get our first bite. It's very sweet. I think the one that they do for festival of holidays, like you know you're getting chocolate. This one is just kind of sweet like marshmallow and chocolate feel. That's what I'm getting. It's okay. I think it's cuter than what it actually is personally. So I give it like about a three. It's in the middle. Reilani is going to eat Baymax's eye. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> All right, my turn to try the macaron. So let's see here. So I can see where Nicole's coming from with like the cream inside. Personally, I'm a huge fan of sweets, so this is actually really delicious. Um, but I can see maybe only like a bite or two and then save this one. So if you are planning on trying this, maybe bring a Ziploc bag or two. I think it's kind of cool though, how they did like the Baymax macaron. They made them a little bit puffy. Baymax is a food probably be this which would be kind of funny towards the end of next month i believe i'll put the date on the screen but baymax will actually be appearing here in dca so stay tuned for that but now let's try the lychee drink all right i'm gonna try not to judge this one too hard because i don't like jellies but i'm a fan of lychee so we'll see how this goes um this is an unsweetened black tea and then it has some lychee syrup as well as the lychee jelly so all right here we go I actually really enjoy the tea part of this. I just don't like the jelly. It's a texture thing for me, um, but this is actually really refreshing. I Even without liking the lychee jelly, I would still give this a five out of five and highly recommend it to anybody to try. Got Reilani's turn. I think she's like, what is that drink? Okay. <laughs> oh man, she really likes it. Good? Reilani, was it good? Okay, perfect. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to this one. I really do like lychee, so here we go. I don't know about this one. I could probably do without the actual lychee bits inside, 
which I think it's a fun concept, but I'm not really a huge fan of this one. Way anyway, over here to the fishy area, as Raylani calls it. I'm not a fan of the area, but she's having like a blast, and she's like dancing in the middle as well. But it's so funny. We just got done eating our food. Those are really cool. I think that I love the concept again that Disney's doing like foods related to movies or characters. I would like to see that more often. Uh, but now what we're gonna do is head over to a Little Mermaid and jump on the ride. Right across from Little Mermaid, it looks like they're working on a facade update as well. This is actually where you can meet like Nick and Judy from Zootopia, but across the way, they're still doing some construction. All right, now it's time for It's a Small World. Raylani was the chosen one for the red card. It's Little Mermaid. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's, <laughs> wow, I'm way out of it. I'm still waking up, right? Uh, but she was the chosen one. So now time to get in line. We are still in line for, I was gonna say it's a small world again, I don't know why, for Little Mermaid, but it looks like we're wrapping all the way around here. Never done this before. <laughs> I just wanted to point this view out. Isn't it amazing? I don't know, I just like the different like angles of the parks. And this one could be found like right across from like the jellyfish area. I don't know, I really like this. All right, we made our way over here to the Inside Out ride to ride it with the baby. So let's do this. All right, Raylani, you ready for this ride? <laughs> let's do it. We made our way in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also here at Toy Story Mania, looks like it is closed down for a little bit. So if you guys are coming here, keep that in mind. You're not gonna be able to get on the ride right now. So Nicole got herself a Jack Jap Num Num cookie. I've been craving it. <laughs> so we're gonna finish this off and then uh, probably head home. And being right here actually reminded me, we actually filmed a vlog on our second channel where we tried Lamplight Lounge, so make sure you guys go check it out. And really quick, on Buena Vista Street, I know people have been asking if Oswald's still here, and it looks like he is. He's pretty rare, so you can catch him when you're over here. All right, everyone, so that wraps up today's video. We had a great time checking out all the new updates that are here at the park. But with that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. And like we always say, may you always have a magical adventure. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye. Bye.